Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today is finally the Q&A which a lot of you have been waiting for and I'm also quite nervous for some of the questions but hopefully I'll get you a relatable answer to that but first of all, I am so thankful and grateful to all the 10k subscribers in my channel within a short span of time. Uh, for a normal girl like me, this is a huge thing for me and I want to thank you all so much for supporting me from the start till now. And till now, I have not gotten any negative comments, which is a good start for me and I want to thank you all so much for doing that because, you know, being exposed to the world, negative things are also going to come just as the positive one but also I am quite ready for that and before we go into the Q&A I quickly want to introduce myself because I have not officially done so which also sums up to some of the questions that you have asked in my Q&A My official name is Lotang Lo Izung and I belong from Lotha Naga community I live in Boca Down right now I have done my masters in zoology from Bangalore University. I did my high school from Cray School, secondary from Model High Secondary, then college from St. Joseph Chakama. I would describe myself as someone who is spontaneous and I love traveling, cooking, gardening. I am 24 years old right now. I was born on 3rd September 1995. And so I'm a Virgo when it comes to food. I love anything that is Naga food and that is the reason why you see me cooking Naga food almost all the time, which is one of my favorite. For those of you asking me about my height, I am 5'6". I weigh about 55. Last time I checked it was 55. About games, I love uh, basketball. I also used to be a captain because I'm quite taller, which 5'6 is actually quite tall for any Naga girl. I am thinking to upload especially on the weekends if not on Friday because that's the time when everybody is free and it's more likely that I'm gonna drop those videos in the midnight because my data plan doesn't allow me sometimes I just upload them and sleep and whenever I wake up it's uploaded so you might see it in the morning that's about my intro and let's talk about my contents Initially, when I started my YouTube channel, I was uncomfortable and I was very reluctant about how people would react and all. There were so many things going in my mind and when I started, I thought maybe I'll just make a video without me speaking much and just show them. Actions speak louder than words and I thought this would attract more people, but at the same time, I also realized when I started interacting with people, they also started to connect more. Now that I'm getting a little comfortable, I am also interacting with you guys. This is quite funny, you are in a room, speak in front of the camera, but at the same time, later on, it's gonna reach it to the other world. But yeah, this is how things are working right now. I'm getting used to it. Going to the condense, I wanna say this, most of the Condens that you will be seeing will be more of a Naga style, a Naga culture. So I want to explore more and focus more on that. And also you are gonna be seeing a lot of travel vlogs and adventures because I love adventures. So you're gonna see more of that as well. And at the same time, maybe music, I also love music. When I was in my 7th or 8th standard, I went for piano classes, but I did not took it very seriously. Maybe it was because of lack of facilities those days. That was also another issue, but I am thinking to even concentrate more on my music as well. And maybe sometimes you might see me and my niece, you know, where I will be playing for my niece because my niece is also fond of singing. Well, so she will sing for you and I'll play for her. 
the play. So I love cooking where you have already seen, so you're gonna see a lot of cooking, especially on the Naga cuisines and maybe family fun time, food challenge. On fashion, I also personally love fashion and uh, styling up. Maybe you might see more of wardrobes sometimes. And I don't know about the home tour, but if it is your interest, because you are the audience, and if you want that, I will also do that one fine day. But firstly, <laughs> I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. Like we have a lot of things to clean up the mess before I do this home tour. So obviously, you can expect me if you really want it. That's that on my content. And now let's go to the Q and A. You guys, literally, some of the questions are very personal, and honestly. Some of the questions are really challenging and I found myself through your questions. So thank you all so much for dropping in so many challenging questions. I have actually made a list which one I'll be answering first. First and foremost, I want to make this straight. Since this question also says, first question, do you have a boyfriend? And also similar questions like, are you single, your first lover, or like, are you planning to get married? All the similar questions I want to answer to that. Right now, I am not thinking for any kind of marriage, I'm very occupied. This is the only thing which I want to keep it with myself. Relationship status is something that I want to work on it. I hope you give me a little privacy in this. Another similar question is like, who inspired you to be a YouTuber? Who is your inspiration? How you have a zeal that you want to be a YouTuber? Your main aim, like who inspired you to start? And like the same questions like more like similar questions my inspiration came from a lot of youtubers out there but i would say this young chinese lady called lizzie q whom i discovered last year in the month of august only and i started to love her living style and i found out that like we also have some kind of similarities that's how i find it relatable and it really inspired me how she does everything on her own and how she is living her life and i thought i should also create a channel and have it but even before that we were actually living that same kind of life so I'm not gonna say me trying to be like her. I was trying to be who I am. It was loud and clear from the very beginning of what I wanted and what I want this channel to actually look like. My main aim of this YouTube was to promote our own Naga land, our own culture, and also to preserve the, our Naga style and heritage at the same time. I'm not gonna say that it's not pres getting preserved, Obviously, the Hornbill festivals and other festivals that are keeping us intact, but at the same time, they are only seen on uh, special occasions. And I wanted this to be shown as a daily life of a Naga family or of a Naga life. I wanted these things to be preserved and be passed on to generations, even. If I become old one day, I can be able to teach the same thing, pass on the same thing that I learned from my parents. I want to be able to have this gift of life to them, just as we did. Because of that only, I created this channel. There are so many other inspirations. I would say, not just her, there are a lot of people who have inspired me in many ways, like the S family, the Hendrix family Jane I am someone whom I look up and so many other youtubers who have actually influenced me and I also follow some declutter toys where she does organization Mr. Kate where they go to other place and arrange organize their home and I'm so very into these things these days and also living big in a tiny house is also something that I'm interested in. So like a lot of people have inspired me in many several ways. So I cannot just say that one person has inspired me, but at the same time I want to say that please Lizzie Q is on the top list who actually inspired me. About my career, I want 
actually want this to be as a profession now because a lot of you are taking interest in my channel and hopefully uh, with your love and support I will be successful in this some of you have also asked me if I'm doing this for money or have I monetized my channel or how long it has been and all the stuff so I want to answer to that as well I started my YouTube channel just two and a half months back that was on 22 of October and before I started this I actually texted my family first and they were the first person to know even before I started I texted them on 20 of October which you will see it in this screen this was the message we have a family group and I messaged there my goal was loud and clear from the very beginning of what I wanted to do in this channel and as you can see I wanted this to be as a kind of evangelical work as well not just by inspiring people through my work but also at the same time giving message like a grace and love of God as well I also personally believe that if you have faith in God that is gonna take you far and uh, if you're asking me if I'm doing this for money obviously YouTube has its own way of earning and maybe in future I'll start earning through this but I am purely following my passion for now and I have also monetized my channel but have not linked it to my account because I have a little knowledge about these things in fact I'm also going to get help very soon but I'm also quite busy with the work so for now I'll just go on with the flow some of you have also asked me how I juggle my work along with making videos so this is something that I kind of uh, trouble that I go through when my niece and nephew are not around because they are my videographer I have to be really clever because kids attention it's hard to grab their attention and I would tell them if you take good videos of me I will give you something or buy you something that's what I would tell them and I do so my li little niece who is actually helping me a lot in almost all my videos like she is a gym and she is the main my niece and nephews they are playing a big role in my channel and I want them to be in this channel as well because I think they need to learn they are also having fun at the same time they are learning so I'm glad that they are doing you know this Q&A is gonna be very long and if you want your answers and stay tuned, you have to stay tuned and watch all the videos because I'm gonna be answering almost all your questions, all your doubts that you might have. So, you guys, stay tuned. I'm gonna take a little break. Right from the very start, you have already seen my personality and I am quite very transparent about this and I want to share this with you I also actually maintain a journal or a diary book I have two journal this is like more of a journal and this is like my personal diary I actually started writing when I was in my 9th and grade and I don't know where yeah, my diaries now those small small diaries that I used to maintain but these are very personal things that I have written down and some things that I went through I have written down a lot of things here Moving back to the question, I actually, <laughs> I actually stop a lot when I start. As the unknown Naga have asked three questions, and this is going to be very personal and it's actually important how you maintain your spiritual life. So thank you so much for this question. You have actually asked me a very good question, and I want to share this with you, my personal experience, my spiritual life, and also my encounter with Christ. So in the year two thousand and fifteen, I personally encountered. The presence of Holy Spirit in my life this happened to me when I was in my college that is St. Joseph also was a part of the present worship team and uh, that day one of our leaders stood up and he was sharing things and in the last prayer he said something which really hit me hard he said this word if you are a Christian and you have not experienced the presence of Holy Spirit in your life, then something is lacking in you. And that really hit me hard. And that very night, I came back to my hostel thinking, 
what might have gone wrong that I have never experienced the presence of Holy Spirit in my life. Usually we see people falling and I thought it was just surreal that this maybe some are acting that that I felt but on that very night I used to stay in Valerian Cross Hostel and our ma'am is actually very spiritual woman I should say. I think on Sundays we used to have a long prayer meeting. I was literally praying if I could at least have the presence. The service was almost over. Everyone was praying. Then I was also praying in my heart, Lord, if you are in our presence right now, then fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill me with your Holy Presence. And as I was praying this, I could feel the Holy Presence just came right beneath me and I felt breathless I couldn't breathe for a second and I felt like someone took away my breath and that was I literally felt it and if you want to know more about that I will share uh, it when I get enough time to share with you all because we have a lot of questions and I cannot just stick to this but I literally felt as I also want to share you the date because I have written this in my diary as well 8 February 2015 was the day when I experienced the presence of Holy Spirit in my life my faith in the Lord increased ever since I felt the Holy Presence here's the second question also, when you sang the song, thank you Lord for your blessings on me on the second. Some of you were touched by the song and I want to say this. If I think back on how our life was when we were actually younger and if the place where we are sitting right now, I can never imagine that God can be so faithful. The song literally has a actual very deep meaning and we were thankful to God for all that He has blessed us. And that I felt when I was singing. I think everyone was going through that when they were singing and that's how we all broke down. What is the hope of you being in this earth? Okay, so again, uh, this question. Is life to be lived here and now or is there anything to look beyond this everyday life? I personally feel that we all are here for a purpose. And if it wasn't for a purpose, then what are we even living? Why are we even breathing? I follow Joel Austin, the Instagram badge, and even for my daily verse. When I was actually going through if I should start a YouTube channel or the night before I opened my YouTube channel, I saw this message called No One Can Stop Your Purpose from Joel Austin post and that literally hit me hard again because I I always follow him and it's how you live your life. If you think positively, everything is going to be positive. So I was positive enough to think that God is speaking through this message to me. And that I find it quite relatable to what I'm doing right now. We all have a purpose that is made for us and that is the reason. And if I'm impacting, if my story is impacting someone's life and if my story is changing or inspiring someone else then this is also a missionary for me this is also a revival for me and I think everyone should look beyond our ordinary life because we are nothing ordinary and we are more than that moving into the next question I'm gonna be quick I know I am preaching a lot but I also want to say that I'm not a pastor here and Please excuse me if I am saying beyond my limits. Everybody has their personal faith and this is my personal faith and my belief. Do you love Jesus? I love Jesus with all my heart. Which editing app do you use and which camera? For editing, I use PowerDirector which was suggested to me by my friend Ao Ching who is also a YouTuber. So you can also go watch her channel. And what camera? Right now I am shooting on Redmi Note 7 Pro and I actually thought of shooting with this camera which is Sony DSLR but before taking videos I made a video from this and I tried to transfer it on my laptop then transfer it back on my mobile to see if I can edit it but um, it cannot be played on a phone so I'm right now taking videos from the phone I use several phones for taking videos 
sometimes I use this phone which is Mi A1 and some of my videos were taken from Samsung. Uh, Samsung A55.